Hello. Let's see. What's everybody doing? Hey, we've got some people here. And please excuse the light. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it, eventually, these this will go away. Hi, Sherry. Cherry. How is Cherry today? AMS. Hello. How are you? Daisy's here in full HBI 90 and journaling mode. I am in purging mode myself for a reset. I used to work at a library and we had this program called Nair and you could get um, materials and as an employee as long as I paid shipping it was free and they would send these catalogs and I've got materials that I have not opened or used, so they're all going to the local school, probably. <laughs> so excited to get ready for bed. Hello. Hi, Rita. How are you? Madison, how are you? What's going on? What's everybody working on today? You've got your key light, like in the movies, film noir. I have to remember that. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Jennifer. Also working at HP9 Task Blocks now. It is on my to-do list. I haven't gotten that far even. I'm doing I need to go do the goal setting. Um yeah. <sighs> I'm definitely purging a lot of things that I have not used. And I've uncovered images that I just like, I really liked. I had this in a, excuse my nail. I don't know why my nail polish came off the one finger. My nails look awful. I had this image in a, like a um, mixed media box oops continue writing my nano novel very cool christmas presents for your brothers what are you making them scrambling to finish a story i'm writing for christmas oh very nice Working on edits, so happy to have the first draft to edit. Yay, hello, and heartbreak. Yes, yes. I've said this often. I wish I had had this when I first started doing things. Isn't it awesome? It just is. I know I use that word a lot, but. Um, Sorry, I'm cutting on it. Look at this. Came from an old magazine. Trying to find a nail that isn't looking terrible. Isn't that cool? Uh, I'm working on editing my nano book too. I'm doing day job stuff, but hope to finish work on time to write. I'm working on a project for my day job. Not super exciting, but necessary. I'm mean, currently sketching out the designs on t-shirts. Ooh, ooh, that sounds, ooh, yeah. That sounds cool. I love that. Sorry, I'm trying to organize. I had a whole box of things and this is what I'm keeping, so. That's good. I'm hoping. Oh, I bet it'll be awesome. How? What are you using to mask mask out? Or are you doing it that way? That yeah, does sound cool. Just in time. 
Hi, Bridget. How are you? What's going on? I'm editing a book, writing in some extra scenes. Very nice. Thank you. I have the boxes. Oh, Hubby's leaving for work. Bye, Hubby. Love ya. Mwah. Probably because I moved things around. Bye, honey. It's cold here, I guess. Hey, everybody, working on HB90. Isn't that ironic? I love that. The spelling and everything. I'm working on first draft of my recent fanfic. Very nice. Just using a diff stiff fabric pencil. So are you going over that with bleach? See, the other way I've seen it done is you made like stencils and then you sprayed it with uh, bleach. Are you drawing the bleach on? Oh. <laughs> 29 years, y'all. Probably because I'm... <laughs> Yeah, the dog was, was sniffing. I've been moving stuff. Um, yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. I have a whole box full of paper that I'm not really sure what to do with. So I've got it sitting here to ponder. Also, I have, uh, I used to get these. I wanted to do zines, right. and I never have done it, and I ordered these for several months, and um, it's just like examples. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. Anyway, I can't part with those. Those are cool. Maybe I should go through them. Uh, Paget, I have officially hyper focused on book recommendations for a friend and messaging with Jen for a combined 50 minutes. So now I add it. Yes. Ooh, stencils would be a lot easier. Hmm. I saw people like um, use like contact sheet paper or, you know, the plastic shelving contact paper, um, like the clear, for instance. And then drawing their their items on there, and then they cut out the stencils, positive or negative, from that, and then and they <laughs> they lay it on the shirt, you know, and sm smoothly, and use it as a stencil. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but isn't that cute? I think it's cute. Murder can be fun. Waiting in line to die, 2007. Yeah, th and this is all, oh, I don't want to show that. This is all uh, text. Let me see what else is in here. Little Lulu. Well, that looks like a copyright infringement. Waiting to happen. And that's rated MA. There's a little one. Somebody did. A new species. In 2015, a new species of tapir was discovered in South America, the first one since 1865. It's a little... By Angela Boyle. FlyingDodoPublications.com Oh, 
I don't know if you've seen that where you can take a sheet of paper and see when those sheet of papers. Then you can take that. Oops. And it forms. Can form the book. If I felt folded it right, it'd be great. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, we need to get started. It is 10 after. Uh, exercise and self-discipline. I have small squares of chocolate. I can only eat one every 500. Oh, what a great one. I have struck chocolate-covered cherries here. Dangerous. Literally, Katie was like, hey, what should I pick up at the library? And it was off to the races. Like I down right wrote her an article in the past three years. That's awesome. Because I never know what to get, especially fiction. I am... Um, Oh, there I did it. I, did it right. um, I usually have to get librarian suggestions. Nonfiction, I'm good on. Okay, y'all ready? You've got your work. You've got your drink. You've got your snacks. I made cookies yesterday. Probably will today, too. Okay, y'all. Let's get this party started. I will start with Daisy's comment when we come back. And let's get going. Oh, Poncho heard me move around the, the cashew can. Three, two, one. I will see you all in 20 minutes.
Okay, how did you do? I went through my zines and I found something interesting. This is one that's called Things Not to Do and it says librarians please categorize under advice. And number 13 is don't self-publish without love and a decent printer. I thought that was, yeah. And then there was this one. I forgot all about. It's from 2004. And it's all um, like mixed media book art things. And I have an article in here. I looked at the um, domain. It was put out by the book artist dot com singular artist the book artist and it's it looks like it's owned by somebody else now the domain but it has like stuff in it like they put a bottle cap and some stuff for you to do and there's like a little stamp and one page was I mean, I'm gonna do this real fast because I know we need to it shows you the, the item and then it tells you how to do it inside of it. I thought that was cute. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. That was in with my zines. So I think I need to zoot. I, I keep saying I'm going to do a zine. And that one's from 2004. So that shows you how long I've been thinking about it and not doing it. Uh, Daisy needs to get a new notebook. Tomorrow, because the Wednesday show has me all inspired for an academia story. I was trying to explain that show to my husband the other day. And it's just, it is so cute. I just, I really like that show. Just her deadpan expression. And she's, yeah. Oh, the little, um, the one that I folded in and out. That is cool. I used to really be into bookmaking. We had like classes on it at the library and all. My husband is into Wednesday night, Wednesday right now too, Daisy Swan. I am casually watching it as I walk past. I love the aesthetic. Yeah. I agree. It is cool. It's fun, probably for a younger audience than us, but fun. And I'm goth, so of course I watch it. I was interested in it, and my 13-year-old granddaughter uh, started watching it. So that's what got me going on it. Hi, everyone. I'm stalking you, Paget. Um, great saints. 383 words. Yes. Daisy finished her task blocks. Yes, good job. I loved Wednesday. I'm making little Wednesday ornament dolls. Oh, that's so, that is cute. I can, yeah, I would love to see those. We loved Wednesday, even my husband. Solid advice, a slow printer is maddening. How cute, Madison. Jen, Jen. Heather's here. Yes. Um, how many people are doing like end of year wrap up? Um, I know some of you said you're doing HB90, but are you just continuing on like, like it's another quarter or are you doing anything special for the end of the year? Set my goals for Q1. Nice. Nice, Inca. Madison, thanks, Jen. We'll see how they turn out. I found a cute pattern on Etsy. Oh. Way to go, Inka. Where is Wednesday playing? It's on Netflix. Um, yeah. It's on Netflix. And I tend to switch out. I, I had... Um, Hulu and Disney Plus for a little bit so that I could watch uh, Hocus Pocus 2 and some other things and then I switched to Netflix. 
Um, oh, sorry. I'm signing up finishing things that my goals are write book, edit book, rewrite book, re-edit book, upload book. Basically just finish book. Don't start not finishing again. Did you see where uh, Sarah has a new video coming out Saturday, I believe it is, and it's on scheduling your writing? It's a Netflix show, Heather. I just started watching it last night myself, and it's really well done. I like it. Quarterly goals are so advanced to me. I aspire to having them. Maybe that's my Q1 goal, achieve a quarterly goal. Meta. Same pageant. Uh, did you all see Cindy going through Aldo's video? Um, I, I was watching it before this the sprints, and she talked for a little bit about how she's going to take Q1 just kind of as it comes and not make huge. Anyway, you'd, you'd have to watch it. Uh, you got this. And if you need cheerleading, we've got you. Yes. I just need goals, not quarterly, just goals. If anybody has been following my uh, woo, Kanban board back here, none of the stickies have moved in the last... Two weeks so I feel you yeah. I started a new scene I also needed to grab a hoodie it's so windy that the chill is creeping through the upstairs window this is such an old house mm. hubby said it's cold here but I don't know what the temperature is I do a whole end of the year review every year do you look what do you I guess that would depend on your goals on what you review uh, my husband loved Wednesday, chose it for himself, and he's in his 50s. The Adams family is timeless. Yes, I agree. I love writers. I only really heard about them this year. They sound potentially useful and kind of fun, too, to be honest. You know, and it almost, it almost went right over me that, that Wednesday was a writer until second or third episode she she made the comment that she couldn't do something because that was her writing time except for the meeting goals part jerry <laughs> uh, now <clears throat> excuse me i hope to find a proper planner with a daily sheet i need to keep to a better time management and divide my time with all my projects writing etc I fill out dreamlike pre-workbook every December as I get ready for the new year. I thought it was a typo. Writers. I thought it was supposed to be writers and it was a dump extra W. But forgive me if I'm wrong. Oh, you just got the email. I'm doing HP90 for detailed quarterly planning, but I also am getting some tentative running and writing goals for the year. Literally, I want to finish and upload book two by the end of the year, and then I want to completely write and finish two books next year. That's as specific as I can get. So you're just taking it as it comes. You know when you do A, you're going to have to B will show up and C will. That's the only special thing I do, but I feel like I'm more thorough thorough with my plan making for Q1, planning the year, I'm finding myself half betting in a lot. Well, I have been thinking about filming something for the end of December. I just want to film like an intro video at this point. Rachel, I'm honestly thinking of freeing up space on my dry erase board and instead of digital Kanban and Notion instead, I don't need to see that daily since I use the weekly project sheets. And I already know I will only be able to plan Q2 and Q3 when the quarters have already started. We are down to the last 20 seconds of this break. So make sure that you've got something to drink. You've got, you know what you're going to work on. I'm sure there's a way to do it, pageant. Uh, pageant. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but anything more seems unsustainable, like here's my daily writing schedule. I will be finished with 10 chapters by X date. I just follow. I just failed those. 
and I'm only I pause the timer on the kitty just to get myself situated to have the next comment marked and whatnot. Okay, are you all ready? Here we go. I'll see y'all in 20 minutes.
Bless you. Okay, how did you all do? I got through my box. Let's see, Heather, if you mean as far as planning and relaxing or reviewing my planning, I'm basically doing that with my daily journaling. Very cool. One goal this year is definitely to publish my first book. I have all these mostly finished stories and have never taken the plunge to self-publish. You can do it. That's why we're here. This group is awesome. Seriously, maybe that is a sign that you can make it happen because you are in this group. Because it is, yeah. As Sarah says, goal setting isn't about what you're trying to get done. It's about what you're trying to achieve by getting those things done. See, that's cool, Daisy. I wish I could know things like this. Heather, I've been neglecting the HB boot camp. I got into it during my stream. I watched the kickoff, and that's all I've watched. I'm, I'm way behind. But I think I'm, because I'm trying to declutter as part of it, it's, it's taken me longer, but that's okay. Uh, you guys are doing it right. I am not saying you aren't. I just don't know how you are doing it. This sounds lazy, but I don't know. I do not feel in control of my life. I think it's what I'm saying. Have you taken, are you taking her man, Sarah's manifestation course? It starts on the 19th, I think. Yeah, thank you. And I'm not saying Sarah is the know-all be-all. I'm just, I'm just, it made me wonder. Because some of those things came up for me just in the, the kickoff things, the intro. Uh, my main goals are with paid article writing and getting book two finished and ready to publish by end of Q1. I'm not going to make it stressful considering my health stuff wise do what you can do paget goal making makes me existential i don't know i think i'm overthinking that and i'm pausing because i wonder if if you've taken um like myers briggs test or the what's the other one where you're one one, two, three, or four. I know I should know what that's called. Mm -hmm. I can't think of it. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm being nosy. Hadget, I put the goal there, but know that it's something to work toward, not the end of the world should I miss it. I feel like I, just trying will get a lot accomplished toward those goals. Even if the goal itself isn't complete by the end of the time frame. My main goals are with paid editing as well as getting creative this year. Short story writing and getting book one, getting book one finished as well as making more art. I think create is my word of the year. I just passed along a, a page that says create on it and I haven't used it. 
I know it's not about me. I'm just, yeah. I just, yeah. Uh, Stephanie, goal making is hard. Don't beat yourself up if you struggle with it. But I've heard Sarah's HP90 course is great for people who struggle. I definitely tend to overthink goals. I am going to try and keep it simple with this coming year. I'm just cleaning my glasses so I can. I'm having trouble seeing. I think it's from using my phone too much. Um, but Stephanie is right. The HB90 bootcamp really helps. Okay, makes sense. Thanks, guys. Madison, gotta go make lunch. Lovely hanging with you all. Hope everyone has productive remaining sprints. Trying to think of what I'm going to do during the next sprint. I need, I think I need to go through this pile. It's like art papers, like reference photos and stuff. Um, okay, finish sketching the designs for the t shirts. Yes. Made and ate lunch, a burrito, and a slice of avocado. Oops. And look at the HB90 editable PDF. I finished the first section of my day job project and started on the second. Just chugging right along. We have four minutes left in this break. So um, this gives you time to figure out what you're going to work on. Maybe write it down. If you haven't, who is Tracy's? Tracy Sprints. She gives a, she gives you like a minute to just think about your intention for the next next sprint. And I like that. Think about what your intention is. Thinking hard about that because I can work on it before printing. I might do that. Maybe a mixture of that and the regular pages. I totally relate to them not knowing how and keeping control over your own life. Working on choosing my projects now. I have two more books coming out in Q1, but those are already written. So I'm trying to figure out my writing, what my writing projects will be. I want to finish my middle grade and successfully launch my picture book. Um, are you familiar with the, there's a, let me pull, let me, children's book festival in, Missouri in March. And the reason I'm bringing it up is, um, that's not it. Yeah, Warrensburg is um, because of picture, you mentioned picture, picture books. It's a free conference, it's a free, um, and it's really popular with librarians in this area. I'm in Southeast Kansas. Um, it's paid for with a Missouri grant. I posted the link there just in case or maybe somebody else. It's a lot of the events are happening online are being streamed. Uh, Inca, my husband is trying to get my attention by banging his spoon on the calendar. <laughs> Seems to be working, yep. I should be done with an, another article after the next sprint, yay. I can get wrapped up in planning and not actually getting things done. I need to watch out for that. And then there's the link for the, I'll look into the festival. I was invited to a book festival near me in March too. Oh, wow, really cool. Does anybody else look for like synchronicities in things? Or am I, am I, am I overthinking things? I need to, and this is my, this is my 
sprint book. I need to go through that pile of art papers. And I know this isn't directly writing that I'm doing during these sprints, but this is getting me ready so I can write. It gets me, I, I need to clear things. Uh, I'm really clearing things by the end of the year. Synchronicities all the time. Oh, the Missouri one is in March three to five. My book doesn't publish until my, oh yeah. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, all, I will see you in 20 minutes.
Okay, folks. How did you do? I am taking care of my email list. And if I click this last one, not my email list, my email. I can call that done. There we go. Okay, so what'd y'all do? Um, if you have not taken a break, um, by break, I mean getting up, walked around, um, stretched your legs, you know, walked around your desk or anything, in the last hour and a half, I would strongly suggest that you do so, even if it is just from the, to the doorway and back or whatever works for you. Um, make sure that you have something to drink, you're staying hydrated, uh, you need some to keep your blood sugar up, something to snack on. If you take this time for the next five minutes, 10 minutes, eight minutes. <laughs> and refocus on what you're working on. Is this what you intended to be working on? Did you get sidetracked? Are you getting done what you need to get done? Look at that to-do list again if you've got one. She says as she, I had something that I needed to shred. And it's not there now. It was something that had, I had my um, social security number on it and my EIN. Hmm. It'll show up. I know I didn't just put it in the trash. It's not in there. Let's see. Pageant. Maps at Inca. Spoon on calendar is one tactic. See, and I thought that's a calendar. Hi, Diane. Hi, hi, how are you? Sneaking in some website work after a long day work. Good job. How are you doing today? Paget, I would love to go to a writer's conference. That could be a goal. Yep. How about a writer's retreat? Just just ask. Uh, Stephanie, I realized I haven't practiced my Japanese all day, and so I spent that time going through my vocabulary. I let it get really backed up. I admire anyone who's learning a second language. I'm terrible with learning languages. I don't have the ear. I don't. Got another couple hundred words and a new copy, mostly just bounced off the walls. We should call that lack of definite purpose mosquitoing, because that's what it looks like. Like that. 292 words. The only writers' conferences I've been to was with my children at school, and those were, were with 12 to 17 year olds and their teachers. We used to have one that was a Christian writers' workshop that was about 50 miles from here, and it was always very affordable. And I'm not an extrovert when you see me face to face. So I would usually stay in my little corner, but it was, it was always really good. It was a good sharing experience. I wish they still had those. I don't think they do. Maybe there's one that maybe you need to, to, to make one. Maybe you need to bring some writers together at your local library or something for like a mini writers conference to get started. Jennifer finished the HB90 stuff, feeling motivated for 2023. 
So there were workshops for both students and their teachers or parent volunteers, a school gym full of young writers. That would be awesome. Yeah. I finished my coffee, got up and walked into the kitchen, got a snack, made a couple more changes to the description and added an end screen to today's stream. Letting that go now. Good job. Finished H. You know, I never put an end screen on my. I should do that. I don't know why I haven't ever thought of that. Uh, Inca finished HB90 for the day and just spotted Sarah's new video. So that's what I'll be doing next. Probably me too. Uh, hello. Hello. And I am good. The Christmas rush is in full swing at work. Okay, had to deal with scheduling, just got back. Heather, I have been to a couple of writers' conferences put on by an organization in Florida. And uh, my kids can relate, they both work at Starbucks. Retail is no joke right now. Oh man. Does that mean you get Starbucks discounts? Just asking for a brand. I often forget to put on end screens. I need to do that. I need to make a note. I never do it. I do it on my videos that I create, that I edit. Yeah, I like. I should. I should have done that. Thank you for mentioning that. We have three minutes left in this this break. Um, we have one more sprint left. And I am trying to decide what I'm going to work on. HK. And this year is getting, I'm looking at a calendar. I have not looked at one. I've just been puttering along. We have 10, let's see, 14, 15, we have 16 days left in the year. And probably three, four, five. Five of those days are a wash. So maybe 10 days left to get things prepared. I'm telling myself that that's plenty of time, but we both know, we all know, Hanukkah is on the 19th. Kwanzaa is on the 26th. Of course, Christmas. My neck of the, of the woods, Christmas is the... Oh, and there's also a child's birthday in there, too. I didn't hear you. What did you ask? I don't remember now. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I've been to a few conferences and loved everyone. My editor is trying to get me to go to more. The ones I've been to have been really small. They haven't, you know, there hasn't been. And Christian, Christian fiction is, uh, Christian writing is not my thing. Um, it's not my forte, but it was nearby. It was very, I mean, I, and by inexpensive, I mean, it was like $50 or something. Um, so I'd like to go to a bigger one. Inca, I'm aiming to go to, to London next, London Con next year, and I'd love to go to the Vegas Con, but not until they ban smoking in more places. Ah. I'm a smoke hater too, or not, I'm an anti smoker too. Heather, the con that I regularly attend participate in has had a writing workshop in the past. I want to specifically ask for it to happen next year, and another con that I may attend participate in does. I, I wasn't aware of that either. I've never been to Vegas, so. But that would, that would really, 
are all the casinos then at the places like that? They're allowed to smoke in public places. Am I understanding correctly? Oh, I did not hear the kitty. I am so sorry. I was off in my own little wor world there. Casinos, yeah. Oh, yeah, see, I couldn't. My allergies would be, yeah. Stephanie, I'm going to one in May now, but I wasn't originally planning on it. It was a bit of a surprise that I'd be going. Well, that's cool, though. I had some friends that went regularly. And if they plan, they said that if they plan things ahead of time, it was very affordable. And they could do it on the very inexpensive end. Yeah. I can remember my dad going into like TGY or Walmart smoking. But I think he kind of phased himself out of doing that because he realized that other people, I can remember people just putting their cigarette out on the floor of like department stores. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm, I'm off topic. Let's get this last sprint um, and make it count. I'm still at a loss at what I'm going to do, but I will figure it out. And I will see you back in 20 minutes. Okay. Three, two, one. There we go.
Did it already meow? Because I didn't hear it meow. Sorry, folks. It's already into it. I am, I'm going through sticker samples. I don't think that one comes apart. How did you all do on that last sprint? Yeah, that one didn't come apart. Let's see. Heather says she remembers that when people were smoking in department stores and whatnot. People flicking cigarettes out of the car window. Yeah. Heather, by the way, I may change my sprint times for Q1, especially if I start sprinting for heart breathings. Keep us in the loop. I'm now looking at 11 a.m. Eastern so that there is no overlap. Because I know I would use your sprints to get ready for my day. I miss it when Angela doesn't have her 8 a.m. sprints. When I'm, when I'm going through going through sticker samples. I know nobody really cares, but. But I, but you know, uh, Stephanie Hedget, I'm hoping to do two this year too, the one in May and one in October. That's in my home. A friend of mine goes to Vegas at least two or three times a year. Smoking is at the casinos, but there are a few that is not are non-smoking. She doesn't. She doesn't think that applies to restaurants though, and she's a smoker. Yeah, Vegas and the smoking is problematic. I bet most conferences there are at casinos and not the non-smoking hotels. I can't even be like by the smell of a cigarette or a, yeah, I can feel my lungs start to... I mean, I don't go into like anaphylactic, but um, it's, not, it's not a happy time. Exactly, I'm so glad I'm not a smoker nor my hubby. Amen. Right. Yes. 176. Yay. And I finished another scene in this chapter. I'm going to read and warm up for a bit. Maybe I'll finish this chapter today. Down home geek. I didn't know you were here. You were lurking. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you for being here, down home geek. Rita. That's yeah, I think it's yeah. Rachel, I've got the outline for an, of another article up and I'm about to begin going through adding subtopics. Very cool. I pulled samples that I thought were eh, maybe. And a couple of things I thought I might use just in normal. I mean, doesn't everybody need that on their on their planner or something? I'm gonna put that on there. And then this was in one, it's just a coaster, so I thought I'd probably use it. I think I'll just put these back in this box. And I doubt I'll use the rest of this. The rest of this is all um, like font and paper type. Oh, here's cover weight. Some of these have beautiful images on it. Ooh. 
This is psprint.com. Ooh, that's cool. Oops. It's just paper cover types. I'm trying to see if they put the weight on here. Doesn't oh no, it does on some of it. That's awesome. Let me try it out now. Possible. This one is a hundred pound brilliant white linen cover. It's got a nice tooth to it. It's got like the linen texture. Just wondering, business cards would be nice for that. For um, art, I currently use Moo a lot for mine. Let's see. I think they got distracted by Facebook, but answered a couple of emails. Good job. That was a folding laundry sprint. Thank you for her. You're welcome, Inka. Thank you for being here. I can't believe I'm almost set up to speak at four different conferences for 2023. I never thought that would happen. I admire that a great deal. I have, I have avoided public speaking. If at all possible. I know I'm sitting here doing a sprint, but this is, you all are different. Uh, that is, isn't it? It's just Heather did some journaling and thinking about my novel's plot. See you later, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, I'm, you should be really proud of yourself because that's awesome. Um, the kick ass one was from, I assume you're talking about this one. It's from Sticker Mule, stickermule.com. I um I made a chart of the samples that places that I sent for or that I'm I looked at the prices for things. I mean cuz Redbubble, I mean I yeah, that's the first one most people go to, but um if you're looking at printing your own stickers or getting them printed and there's also, well, anyway. Anyway, that is where that one came from. I have avoided public speaking. I hate public speaking. I was the leader of the parent council during the closing of the school. I hated it. I hate public speaking, Heather. I don't know how you do it. It's taken me a long time to start getting used to it. That's admirable, though. I I have decided I just ne it's not going to be a thing that I can do and enjoy. I so and I know that's not a yeah. I should be open to it. But all my life it's just given me major, major anxiety. I was even when I was um when I was a child, I was I don't know if it would have would have qualified as selective mutism, but I would not speak to people other than my family. And even in school, if they called on me. I would just wait till they went on to the next person. I can remember seeing teachers' faces when I would just, I, I would like disassociate almost and just wait until they went to the next person. It's 
taking me a long time to get used to it. Hey, it took me three times to take my required public speaking thing in college. I'm taking that next term, Heather. I'll struggle, but I have to do it. The first panels I was on, I was shaking like a leaf. But you did it. See, and I wouldn't, mine wouldn't lessen. Um, mine would always be at, at that level. It wouldn't, I don't see it getting less. I've been doing sprints for almost two years. And this is not like face to face. <clears throat> and I'm just now getting to where I just, I really enjoy it. Where I don't, I don't have anxiety before I start. It's taken me two years. Thank you. Time for bed now. Not sure how many sprints I'll catch next week. So just in case, blessed holidays. Thank you for being here, Daisy. You too. That is nice. I've had like exhibits and you have to give like a talk or you have to say, hey, this is me. I'm, I did this. And Terrible. I mean, I'm talking like beet red, can't hardly speak, can't look at people. Total nightmare. I'll be having my third anniversary in January, sprinting. I would love to sit down with you and just pick your brain, artwork, business-wise, on things because it seems like you've like really grown in your following and your social media in the last, and I know that's probably because you're, I mean, aside from your work, but you're comfortable. You've pushed yourself, I should say, pushed yourself more than I have. Um, my undergrad was in art ed, um, but again, because of speaking, I didn't, do that for long. I um, was a substitute art teacher and a sub teacher and I taught at a community college as an adjunct. Um, but I, the anxiety was just too much. And I have, I don't know if you're familiar with some of the ADHD things. I didn't know that's what it was at the time. But I have um, rejection sensitivity dysphoria. And it made it much, much worse. It just, yeah. I mean, I just, I haven't, I haven't, I don't know how to get past that. And I don't know, you don't even know if it's even possible for me to get past that. Because I've done the therapy and I've done the seeing doctor and, you know, and it's still, and at my age, they, I've been told that they won't put me on anything like Adderall or a stimulant. So they've tried other things and they kind of help, but not, not how I see other people functioning. So, anyway, that's my soap opera. I have a list of things to do today. I need to do my HB90. Get it set up. I need to catch up on videos. Um, because of heart issues, they say. I had one doctor say that she was going to do an EKG. And my blood pressure and everything is wonderful. I'm talking like 70 over 102 usually. It's not unusual for mine to be actually below. And um, she was going to do an EKG 
before she prescribed me something and then she got transferred. So it's very tiring to try to find somebody. I'm in a very rural area. It's just So I do what I can with what I have. You're welcome. You're welcome, Paget. You and Heather, thank you for being here. I noticed people have fallen off since I just started gabbing. It's uh, 20 minutes after. And that is a granddaughter. So I'm going to get off here so I can see what she needs thanks i needed this sprints i need to get back to writing more often and with more words on the page but you're doing it you are doing what you need to do okay i am part of the neurodivergent publishing conference <gasps> i didn't even know there was such a thing see you just come to like accept that things are the way they are I'm writing this down because I didn't even know anything like that was even. It's brand new. Oh, God. Awesome. I'll Google it when I get done with um, granddaughter. I have some grandchildren that are neuro neurodivergent also. And it... Um, And honestly, I think that's one reason, or what, yeah, one reason that my grandkids and I are kind of on the same level, if that makes sense. I know I can understand when they're having anxiety about something. It's like that I don't think other people can tune into, I guess. Or some people can't, can't tune in. I know some people can. So, uh, we'll see if I can invite you into. <gasps> that would be awesome. I know I will. I'll Google it, um, and see see what it is because that sounds really good. Sounds really good. And I, my oldest granddaughter has an amazing imagination. And while I was purging things, I came across a story that she wrote. She's thirteen, um, and she had me just. She dictated, and I wrote it down, and I need to do something with it. Yep, you too. Have a great day, all. Thank you much for being here. Okay. Cool. Thank you. That would be great. If you can't, And if you can't, I understand. But um, even just knowing it exists is, is a positive. I will see you all on Tuesday, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you, if I don't see you next week, have a great holiday, and I will be around. I will schedule my Tuesday sprints on Monday. Usually I do the week on Monday. Yes, yes, I'm on Facebook. Um, I have two main accounts. One is my personal, which I just kind of, and which like word vomit, just, you know, um, pictures of grandkids, mark work, you know, whatever, political. And then I have one that's just for art and writing. It, oh, and it's just my name is what it is. So I'll see you all. Take care, be safe, and have a wonderful holiday if I don't see you between now and then. So. Mwah.